Hi to all. I am Dr. A. Divya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we will be going to discuss the topic data structures and algorithms. In that three data structures, the linear data structure like an array, linked list, stack and queue in which all the elements are arranged in a sequential manner. The different data structures are used for different kinds of data. A tree is also one of the data structures that represent hierarchical data. Suppose we want to show the employees and their position in the hierarchical form, then it can be represented as the shown below. This is a diagrammatic representation of the tree data structures. Tree represents the node connected by the edge. We will discuss the binary tree or binary search tree specifically. Binary tree is a special data structure used for data storage purpose. A binary tree has a special condition that each node have a minimum two child. Next is a binary tree. A binary tree has the benefits of both an ordered array and a linked list as a search in a quick as in a shorted array and insertion or deletion operation as fast in the linked list. This is a dynamic representation of the binary tree. The following are the important terms in which respect to the tree. First is the path. Path refers to the sequence of the node along the edge of the tree. Next one is the root. The node at the top of the tree is called the root. There is only one root per tree and one path from the root node to any node. Next one is the parent. Any node except the root node has the edge upward to the node called the parent. Next one is the child. The, ch the node below given node connected by a edge downward is called the child node. Next one is the leaf. The node which does not have any child node is called the leaf node. Next one is a subtree. Subtree represents the descendants of the node. Next one is a visiting. The visiting refers to the checking of the node when control is on the mode. Next one is a traversing. Traversing means pass through the node in a specific order. Next one is a levels. The level of the node represents the generation of the node. If the node is at the level 0, then it's the next child node at the level 1. It's the grandchild at the level 2 and so on. Next is a key. Key represents the value of the node based on which the search operation is to be done on the, for, done on the node. Next one is the binary tree. The binary tree is defined as a tree data structure where each node has at most two children. Each <coughs> element in the binary tree has have only two children. We typically name then the left and right child. The node left child must have the value that is less than its the parent value and the node right child must have the value greater than its the parent value. Binary tree representation. The binary tree is represented by a pointer to the topmost node commonly known as the root of the tree. If the tree is empty then the value of the root is null. Each node of the binary tree contains the following parts. First one is the data. Second one is the pointer to the left child. Next one is the pointer to the right child. The next one is the basic operations on the binary tree. First one is the inserting an element. Second one is the removing an element. Third one is the searching for an element. Fourth one is the traversing the tree. Thank you.